All existing blockchains use transaction fees to prevent spam, a small micropayment is made every time you transfer. But on EOSIO, no single user has the ability to saturate the entire network, no matter how much money they're willing to spend. EOSIO is very different in that we are an entirely stake-based system. So we still economically protect the network by requiring you to stake tokens, and those tokens never leave your possession. They simply cover the cost, the incidental cost, of the resources that you're using at the time. Once you stop using the resources, you get those tokens back as opposed to it being a permanently charged fee to your account. In a way, that creates a market where you never have to pay EOSIO tokens in order to have access to those shared resources. Gas is the fee that users have to pay in proof-of-work based consensus mechanisms to for the transaction to be taken by the miners and processed and put on the network. So we try to conceptualize the idea of eliminating the gas fee and pushing the, the fees for the maintenance of the application to the developers and to the network versus the users of the network, which creates almost seamless experience. And a lot of users don't really understand that they're using the distributed application comparing to uh, other networks that are using proof of work consensus. The, the blockchain inflation pays for all the transaction costs itself and we don't need to charge for transactions on top of that. So compared to other blockchains where they're almost charging twice for transactions, the EOS uh, blockchain can cover it with just the uh, inflation cost.